Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be designing this drill jig. Um, so to start, um, just start a new part file and click OK. So we are going to just design the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 starting from the block cast iron and work our way around it. And so the way I actually know how to start this part is so first of all what we need to do is change our units to millimeters so go to the document properties change it to metric and click ok and the next thing i'm going to do is just click sketch so once i click sketch you get all the planes and looking at the view of this assembly we know um we can draw this feature on the right plane so that's what we're going to do so click the right plane to start your first sketch and come down to line midpoint line and draw a line that is going out just like that and what you're going to do is just draw this shape so um, just draw another line coming up um, something coming like this uh, another line coming down and something like that and now I'm just gonna make this line um, this line a vertical line and ignore this as long as you have the shape um, that is good so I'm gonna move this down so you should have something like this so now I'm going to draw a line from this origin point coming up and I'll click that endpoint of that line and this top line and add a midpoint relation to it. So once we have this shape, make this line a construction line. Um, also click this point and this point, make them horizontal. And now we can add our dimension. The dimension here is 19. Um, the dimension here is 110. Um, the dimension on this side is 26 the dimension up here is 22 the from the top to the bottom the dimension is 88 um, which is right here and and the dimension up here we need one more up here and that will be 36 so it gives you radius of 18 over here so if that half of it is 18 flow so from here to here will be 36 so that's how I got this dimension so once we have that you go to feature extrude and you want to extrude it up 19 and click OK good so now the next thing we're going to do is click on this top face sketch um, number two um, so you can either convert entity this back line or you can just draw a line there and draw a line coming out and draw another line down here so draw a circle make the circle and this line tangent and make the circle and this line also tangent and so now I'm going to trim trim um, this part off and now all we need to do is add our dimension and the dimension is over there it will be uh, from the back to the center point of that circle will be 32 so from here to here is 32 so once you have a fully defined sketch what you're going to do is come and feature extrude flip the direction and it is going to be 22 and click OK good so now we're going to click this face um, sketch number two um, we're going to do the same thing to come down uh, midpoint line and draw a line and just draw the shape um, so as long as you have the shape that's good I'm going to make this a vertical line again I'm going to draw a line come going up and this point and this line midpoint make this a construction line and now you can make this line this point and this point make them horizontal and now you can start adding your dimension the, the dimension for this line is 16 um, this line is 54 this line down is 38 and this angle dimension over here um, 
this line to that line is 45. We have a fully defined sketch. What we need to do now is extrude it. So feature extrude and you're going to extrude it 25 and click OK. Good. So now we come back to fillet and we our fillet size is going to be 3 and you want to add the fillet to this top face and this edge, that edge, this edge and this back edge and you do the same thing on this side um, so once you have your fillet and click OK good so the next thing we need to do is click the whole wizard and come to position and select this face and now just add two points so I'll go normal two so you see what's going on um, so select the face and add two points so press escape to get it to exit exit out of that command and now just draw a line going up from the origin point and another line like um, that is perpendicular to it so click this line and this line and this point this point and that line and make it the midpoint relation and put the end point of the, on that line to that point you made on uh, coincident and do the same thing with this one is coincident and make this two line a construction line and so once you have that we just need to add our dimension from here to the origin point that will be 46 and the distance between these two is 38 so once you have a fully defined um, sketch we're going to come back to the tab, the type tab, and you want to select this option, metric, drill size, and select a diameter 12 hole. And the blind you can we can do up to next, so which is the back, and click OK. Good. So now the next thing we need to do is um, click this top face sketch um, number two and draw a circle then um, my keyboard is slow so draw a circle then make that circle and click this outside edge and make them concentric so that way to center this circle on this on this um, circular outside edge so once you have that um, add a dimension to this and it's going to be 11.935 um, and all we need to do now is just go to feature extrude cut and up to next and click OK good so now we're going to add a chamfer so the chamfer size is going to be 2 and we're going to add it to this top part and this bottom part and click OK Good. So now um, what we need to do is click this top face, uh, sketch, and number two, click this um, inside edge for that circle. After the chamfer, this inside one, and click convert entity. And now what you want to do is uh, come to your um, feature and curves and helix and we are going to reverse the direction and we want to do pitch height and pitch so select height and pitch the height is 22 and the pitch is 2 and start angle it will be 0 and in the clockwise direction and click OK so we have our helix now all we need to do is put a plane over make a plane over here so we can draw the profile to uh, sweep cut that to sweep cut our thread so um, select reference geometry plane select this back edge and zoom in and you see this line this point once you hover over it select that point to put that plane there and click OK so now we're going to uh, select that plane and sketch um, number two 
and come to like your polygon over here and change the size to three uh, click OK and just draw uh, something like this this triangle over here and draw a line coming from the triangle out I mean from the center point to the end point of that triangle and make that line a construction line and what else uh, something else that you need to do is draw another line over here something like that and and so um, what we need to do now is draw uh, add a dimension from here to here and I did this um, calculation so um, the formula that I used for the trade so I have um, so what you need to do is do 7 um, times 1.732 divided by 8 so that should give you this value over here so um, for this one I'm just going to maybe I'll delete this line and add it again because that changed so I'm just going to add it over here again and now I'm going to add the dimension from here to here and this one will be 5 times 5 times um, 1.732 divided by divided by 8 so that should give you this dimension so once you have this I'm going to trim this part out and this dimension is going to be 0.5 so 0.5 so now all we need to do is click this point and click this click that point and click this line I mean your helix and make it pierce it so and the only thing we need to do now is this is probably not horizontal see how that's still moving make this line a vertical line so everything should be fully constrained so you should have this dimension let me change it to three decimal places or units so that way you can uh, change it to that so you should have these numbers here at least something close and once you have that exit out of that and now click on your sweep cut you have your profile select and you just need to select the part and you have that and click OK and I'm just going to section it so you see um, so you should have something like that and I'm just going to hide my helix uh, I don't need it I'm just going to hide it and moving on and that will be this part so we are pretty much done with this part we I'm just gonna hide that plane so this is this part and save it save it as um, I'm just going to go on my desktop and I can save it as the save it somewhere comfortable for you so I'm just going to save it as the block block cast iron and click OK save and the next thing we are going to do is just start another new part file um, change your units So millimeters click OK and we are going to be making this part so um, click on the right plane and sketch and just draw the shape something like this draw a line going up draw another line coming out draw something that looks like half of a T something like this now draw an arc from here to there uh, make sure that so let's add our dimensions first so from here to here is 28 um, from the top to this it is 18 um, from the bottom to the top is 35 and um, from here and I'm just going to make this a mid um, from here 
to here is 28 but you can make do half of that which is 14 so the diameter is 28 so half of that will be 14 and all we need to do is add a radius to this so the radius is 115 and I believe this point and that and I will just going, I'm just going to move this down and so we have our 28 we have our 28 um, so all we need to do now is just bring this point and that line and make it coincident so once you do that everything is fully defined so we come to feature revolve and revolve about this and click OK good so once you have that click this bottom face sketch um, number two and and number two I'm just going to draw a, a circle here something like that uh, move it move it up make sure it's not coincident to anything click this outside edge and uh, convert entities and I'm just going to trim the circle off and add a dimension to it this is going to be 14 and you can make this point of that circle and the origin point vertical so that's 14 and you can just move it up somewhere over here so now what we want to do is um, come to the um, circular pattern and the first one is the perimeter just click this point and the number of revolve the circular pattern is going to be six and entities to pattern you select this and click OK so now this is not fully defined so all you need to do is make sure these points are coincident with that edge so once you make it coincident add a dimension from here from this point to that point add your dimension and it's 9 and everything should be fully defined now so all you need to do is um, use your trim tool and trim all the extra um, line in here out so you should have something like that and now all we need to do is go to feature extrude cut and you will select the flip flip side to cut and we want to do up to next so you can see so we extrude cutting it and we're flipping it make sure you have this flip and click OK good um, let me reverse back so something went wrong so again I'm going to try that again if I feature extrude cut and oh don't do up to next so I think that's probably why um, that it, it cut this too so um, just a second so don't don't do up to next that that is um, because I did up to next that's why this got deleted so you want to select true all so you want to select true all and click OK and and on that one I forgot to flip to flip the side so you want to select true or flip the side flip the side to cut and everything should work perfectly now so um, yes so don't forget that true or and flip the side and the next thing we need to do now is add our fillet so the fillet is going to be three and we want to add it to this top face this bottom face this face that 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 this one and that one so you want to add it to all that face and click OK good so the next thing we want to do is um, click on the whole wizard and position select this face and select the origin I mean the origin point yes and go back to your tab and you want to select ansymmetry drill and the size should be 10 so I'm going to select 10 and 
this will be blind and the di distance is 18 so put 18 then in the 10 and click OK good so now select the right plane um, sketch and just draw um, kind of like a, a rectangle over here something like that and now uh, add the dimension so from here to here is going to be 10 which is right here so that will be 10 and this make this a construction line this will be 3 uh, let me do that again so uh, I'm going to delete that so from this line to that center line will be 3 so the diameter is 3 um, make this entire line 15 so you just want it sticking out so if I section it um, about that you want it sticking out and you want it coming in here so you can um, let's make it 20 make it 20 and make this point and the origin point vertical so everything is fully defined I'm just going to close this off and now feature revolve cut and click OK and there you go we are done with this second part and we are moving on to the next so save the make sure you save this save it as um, the handle so let me just save it now so make sure you save it as the, the handle and click it once you have it saved moving on to the next part a new part file and change your units to metric And we are going to be drawing the screw. The screw. So on the right plane, um, sketch. And you just want to draw a shape, something like this. So once you do that, select OK for your sketch. So make this a construction line. So click, click this line, make it a construction line. And let's just add our dimension. This top line, because the hole is 10, you can make this shaft a 10 too. So there has to be some type of tolerance there. So we can make that 9.99 just for now. And then we'll make this dimension from here to here is 18. Um, not 188 so excuse me 18 and this dimension is going to be 34 and I'm just going to drag that up so we have 1834 um, 9.99 and from the top down is going to be 58 so make sure this line and that line are vertical to each other and so we still need one more dimension and from here the diameter uh, let me press escape so this line the diameter for this line is going to be 14 once you have that make sure you close your sketch and feature revolve and click OK so click on the right plane again, sketch, number two, and this time we want to just draw another rectangle somewhere in here. So from here down to this edge is going to be 10, and that is right here, that's the 10 over there. Um, make this a construction line, this is going to be 3. Um, yes, three. Oh uh, no. So I mean, add that again. This is going to be three. And the distance here, you can just make it anything. So let's just make it twenty-two. And to fully define it, this dimension, this edge here, and make it five. 
so just to fully define our sketch and I'm gonna close it off and re revolve cut and click OK Good. so now we're going to come to this face sketch um, then click this edge and feature um, no, under the sketch and convert entity then once you've done that then come to the feature and helix you want to um, make sure it's going down what we have here but we need to change the height to 34 and once you have that click OK Good. so now we need to find the plane I believe is the right plane so because of with um, the starting point for that is for that helix is right there so we need to um draw a sketch on the plane that is perpendicular to it which is our right plane so sketch um number two and i'm just going to draw again a three point arc i mean not a three point a three point polygon uh facing this direction draw um, I'm going to click OK. Make sure this line is vertical. I'm just going to. So I'm going to draw a line here before I start, before I make that vertical. So I'll make that line horizontal. So everything. So I'll make this line now vertical. OK, good. So the next thing we need to do is add our dimensions. So this is just like the last one. This will be. Um, seven times one point seven three two divided by eight and I'm going to draw another line over here and the dimension from here to the midpoint will be five times one point seven three two divided by eight and I'm going to trim this part off make this line a construction line and this will be uh, 50.5 and now what we need to do is just click this point and click this helix and before we do that make sure click this line I forgot to click this line in this edge and make them collinear so uh, we can just now move this forward move it somewhere closer then now click this point and this helix and pierce it so you should have something like this and once you have that exit exit the sketch and feature sweep cut our uh, sketch is selected as our profile select the helix as the part and click ok and that is this there you go that is this um, screw and I'm going to hide my helix and save it make sure you save this part file and we are moving on to the next so the next one is the bushing so new um, did I even change the units on this I, I believe I didn't oh yes I did oh sometimes I forget changing the units so new part file and we are going to draw that on the so sketch so we can pick any plane for this one so let's draw that on the right plane again and click um, so draw two circles what's going on so I'm gonna go to my circles click my origin point and draw two circles in each other the di diameter for the inside circle is 7.94 and the diameter for the outside circle again the shaft needs to be smaller than the hole so since that diameter for that hole we made it 12 we can make this 11.99 just to make it a little bit smaller then we're going to go to feature extrude um, and it doesn't matter in what direction you extrude it and it is going to be 22 so oh did I change my units see what I mean I didn't change my units so 
again don't forget change your unit I, I don't know how I said it and I forgot to change it so change your unit to millimeter and it's probably going to mess up my dimension so all I need to do is um, I'll delete this and do it again because the scaling is going to be too big if I have to cut it down so I'm just going to add it real quick um, this is um, 7.94 See, see what I mean? Look how the scale is to so. And I'm just gonna move that down in there and zoom in. And this is going to be 11.99. So once we have that, uh, we exit out and feature extrude, and we're going to extrude it 22, and click OK and make sure you save it save your bushing and the next thing we need to do is just make the pin so we are going to select new part file and change my units again um, millimeter click ok on the right plane I just draw a sketch I'm just gonna draw a rectangle at the origin point something like that make sure this line is horizontal and this will be construction line and this will be let's make this 2.9 and the dimension for this is going to be 28 our sketch is fully defined close that off and feature revolve and click OK and save this as the pin and we have all five parts done so all we need to do now is put it together in an assembly and I will stop this modeling here for now then in another video we're going to put the parts together in an assembly thank you and I'll see you soon bye